Here's how to wire the control circuit. Follow carefully. Start by routing neutral wire from the control power to contactor coil A1 and relay pin 14. Next, run the live wire from the control power to the thermal relay's normally closed contact 96, and then from contact 95 to the contactor's normally open contact 14 to power the latching circuit. Now wire the pressure gauge. Connect the yellow common wire to the same terminal 14 on the contactor. The green lower limit wire goes to contactor coil A2, while the red upper limit wire connects to relay coil pin 13. Complete the latching circuit by running a wire from the contactor's normally open terminal 13 to the relay's common terminal 12. Then connect the normally closed pin 4 on the relay back to coil A2 on the contactor. The wiring process is done. Switch on the control power supply. When pressure is below the lower limit, the gauge's lower limit contact closes, energizing the contactor to start the pump. Pressure begins to rise. Once pressure rises above the lower limit, the lower limit contact opens, but the pump continues running thanks to the latching circuit, allowing pressure to rise further. When pressure hits the upper limit, the gauge's upper limit contact closes, activating the relay. This breaks the normally closed contact, pin 4, cutting power to the contactor. This stops the pump until pressure again falls below the lower limit, which re-engages the contactor and restarts the pump, continuing this cycle. For a wide range of industrial automation products and components, visit ATO.com.